Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are gearing up for a traditional royal Christmas. For their second holiday together, and first as a married couple and soon-to-be parents, Dash Meghan and Harry will head to Norfolk for Christmas with the Queen at Sandringham, the 92-year-old monarch's country home about 110 miles north of London. They'll take part in a number of traditions. Guests usually arrive in the early afternoon on Christmas Eve and exchange gifts. After their church outing on the big day, the royal family heads back to Sandringham House for a lunch of Norfolk turkey and other festivities. Meghan joined the royal family for their Christmas celebrations last year, despite it being unusual for non-married partners of senior members of the family to join the Queen for Christmas Day celebrations. Despite being engaged to William, in 2010 Kate spent her last Christmas as a single woman with her own family. But, unlike Kate, Meghan doesn't have any family in the UK, and clearly Harry will have wanted his new fiancé by his side. Despite reports that Prince William and Kate Middleton would likely be spending the holiday with Kate's family in Bucklebury, the couple will be joining the rest of the royal family. They will stay at their nearby home of Anmer Hall with children Prince George, 5, Princess Charlotte, 3, and 8-month-old Prince Louis. Claims have swirled about tension between brothers William and Harry and their wives, Kate and Meghan. But contrary to those reports, a source tells people that the couples enjoyed a memorable first Christmas together last year, when Meghan made her debut walk to church with the royal family on Christmas Day. They really loved Christmas and all had a wonderful time, the source says. I think the two women got on, they are definitely not best friends, but it was a really special time for them all to spend together. One person who won't be joining in the festivities? Meghan's mother, Doria Ragland. Despite previous reports that Doria was invited to spend Christmas with the royal family, People confirms that the Los Angeles-based yoga instructor and social worker will not be in Norfolk. The Middletons have never joined the Royals for Christmas, but Kate and William decided to skip spending Christmas at Sandringham in 2016. Instead, they brought Prince George and Princess Charlotte to church with Kate's family in Inglefield, England, near her childhood home. The news comes shortly after people confirmed that Doria will not be moving in when Meghan and Harry leave Kensington Palace for their new home at Windsor Castle's Frogmore Cottage next year. Doria may have rooms set aside for her in the cottage, located close to the house where Harry and Meghan's evening wedding party was held and where their engagement photos were taken about a year ago, but she's not making a permanent move there. Meghan Markle showed Prince Harry around the community kitchen she worked in to launch her charity cookbook for Grenfell during a secret visit. The expectant parents popped into the Grenfell Tower Hub community kitchen, which supports people who had their lives ripped apart by the tragic blaze, on Thursday night. It was the first time Prince Harry has been to the kitchen after his wife helped raise £250,000 to keep it open permanently. And they weren't the only special guests to pop in, as singer Adele was also there to see the good work the women have been doing. Munir Mahmood, one of the kitchen's founders, shared photos of Adele at the kitchen on her social media and revealed she actually visited two days in a row. She wrote, had the pleasure of cooking for Adele two days in a row. Wow! What a blessing! She beautiful, kind and very humble lady. She later added that it was fun having her around the hub kitchen. Less than 24 hours after the Grenfell Tower blaze Adele went down to the site and was seen hugging and comforting traumatized residents. She also delivered cakes to the local fire station and performed at Avondale Park Primary School in North Kensington, the school which many of the young people affected attend. Megan who is a self-confessed foodie, was said to be delighted to introduce Harry to the women she has worked so closely with to create the charity cookbook together, our community cookbook, in which she wrote a foreword. It is the third private engagement, away from the media by deciding not to invite them, that Meghan has taken part in in recent weeks. Two weeks ago she attended a meeting with educators, academic leaders, 
and students at King's College for the Association of Commonwealth Universities, an inter-university network for schools across the British Commonwealth. Days later she appeared on stage in a surprise at the British Fashion Council Awards to present an honour to Claire Wade Keller of Givenchy who designed her wedding dress. Meghan has previously said she's taken some of the kitchen's food home for Harry to try. A royal source said, after the Grenfell Tower disaster, Harry visited the Al Man Mosque which is attached to the Hub Community Kitchen with his brother William. He has met many of the women before at Meghan's book launch at Kensington Palace, but this was the first time he has visited the kitchen. He loved meeting the woman whom his wife has spoken so fondly of over the last year and is a huge supporter of their work. The cookery book, which was published in September, came about after a group of women, victims of the Grenfell Tower fire, gathered at the Al Manor Community Centre and used the kitchen to prepare fresh meals for their friends, families and neighbours. During the private engagement, which was reported in the court circular, the royal couple will have been updated on how the community has moved forward, and will have seen how the hub community kitchen has improved. The mirror last month revealed how Meghan, 37, had struck up a deep and personal friendship with several survivors. A palace source said, the Duchess has made regular private visits to the kitchen and to the woman of hub and will continue to do so. She has said how moved she has been by their courage and togetherness, and hopes by working together and collaborating on projects like the book they can find strength moving forward. Another source close to Meghan said, Meghan has promised she will not let the survivors be forgotten. The book was just an example of the way she is using her platform for good and we are definitely going to see more of this. Behind closed doors, she has taken it to heart and sees it as her personal duty to help the survivors after being so deeply moved by their stories. She has promised to stand by them for as long as it takes. In September, Meghan hosted an event at Kensington Palace to celebrate the release of the charity cookbook. Together reached number one on Amazon.co.uk book chart within hours of being announced, and has appeared in the Sunday Times and New York Times bestseller lists. In the UK, more than 40,000 copies have been sold, raising £210,000. Tens of thousands more have been sold internationally. Meghan Markle and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge have been dogged by a persistent rumour of a feud between the two sisters-in-law. Experts have now suggested the royal feud could worsen as the relationship between the duchesses grows even more complex. Meghan Markle and Kate have been subject to intense scrutiny over the past months after rumours of a split between their households emerged. The report's origins remain unknown but they coincided with the announcement of the upcoming relocation of Meghan and husband Prince Harry from their current house on the Kensington Palace estate, where Kate and Prince William are their neighbours. Despite the planned move to the Frogmore estate in Windsor, royal reporter Andrea Bullock warned the relationship between the Duchess of Sussex and the Duchess of Cambridge is only to grow more complex in the coming months. The People reporter suggested the arrival of Meghan's first child, who is expected to come sometime in the spring, could put further stress into her relationship with Kate. Ems Bulk said, Meghan Markle and Kate Middleton are proving there is no such thing as the perfect family. They made headlines after reports of some minor disagreements and apparent drift, and this week insiders say family drama between Harry and William's wives was actually bound to happen. They have a complex relationship. It's going to get even more complex as their families grow. She continued, Meghan and Harry are going to have their first child in April, obviously that's stressful with the new baby coming. William and Kate had Prince Louis last April so it makes sense things would become complex between them. Kate and Prince William their third child, and second son, Prince Louis on April, 23. They are also parents to five-year-old Prince George and three-year-old Princess Charlotte. Rumours suggest that the row was caused by an intense exchange between the two duchesses during a bridesmaid dress fitting for Princess Charlotte before the royal wedding. Ems Bulk's colleague Jeremy Parsons also weighed in on the alleged row, when it comes to kids especially, that report adrift during Charlotte's fitting for the wedding, nothing sparks up tension in parents like kids. 
If you feel like someone is saying something to your kid or something like that, I think it's good that they have their own space. He continued, a source says the wives change the dynamics. You've got an established family, you've got the brothers, you bring in these two very independent-minded, strong women from the real world. You bring them into the royal world, we talked a lot about the transition of that and all the requirements and the different lifestyle changes. That's going to have an impact on the relationship. Kate and Meghan will spend the Christmas holidays together in Sandringham, the Queen's residence in Norfolk, a gathering that could exacerbate tensions between them, according to a royal author. Biographer Christopher Wilson said that reports of a feud won't make things any easier between the girls. He told New Magazine, Kate's a homebody and loves being with her own immediate family at Christmas, off-duty and relaxed. Sandringham Christmases can be an ordeal, even for those born royal, and generally those who've married into the family often can't wait to get away. As with many seasonal family gatherings, there can be undercurrents and the publicity over the Meghan clash won't make things any easier between the girls.